You look stressed out, have a seat. Today we're gonna to talk about the five different things that you can do to naturally relieve stress and make sure you're actually de-stressing and living a stress-free life. Let's get into it. When stress happens, what's normally our typical response? Well, a lot of people, you know, they get hunched over and they get this breathing in the chest, this shallow breathing, their face gets red. And that is exactly a proponent to actually make you more stressed out. See, one of the easiest ways, and this is tip number one, to making sure to cut down stress and really get rid of that stress is to breathe. It's deep breathing and meditation. Both of those together or separate are so good for allowing your cortisol levels to drop, your adrenaline to drop, and you to really become de-stressed. It's such an easy way to do it. So one way when it comes to deep breathing is actually from Hatha Yoga. It's one thing that I like to do every day. It's seven deep breaths of seven or eight second inhales, seven or eight second holds, and seven or eight second exhales. And so it's very easy to do, although it's counterintuitive because you're supposed to start at the lowest possible point that you can breathe and work your way all the way up to your head as you do these seven breaths. Meaning to have a full breath, you're starting at the lowest point and you're moving to the head and then you're holding. So you do seven or eight of those and honestly, it's gonna decrease stress unlike something that you've ever felt before. Number two, training your body for resiliency. So this is getting your body acclimated to stress. And what does that mean? Well, that's cold showers, that's saunas, and that's all these different hyperthermic conditioning methods. It's intermittent fasting and it's ways to allow your body to actually have that adaptive process that allows it to not get too stressed out every single time that you get outside and you're in the cold or you're in the heat. It's building resiliency and something where your body can tap into that potential and it doesn't stress you out anymore. It's also a mindset shift. If you've ever done cold showers or saunas, then you understand that a lot of it comes down to your mindset. And the moment that you think, oh, I can't handle this anymore, is the moment you can't handle it anymore because your body and your mind is giving up to it. Tip number three, get electrolytes and nutrients into your body. Now, I put a picture of haagen -Dazs because haagen -Dazs counterintuitively has eggs, milk, salt, a little bit of good sugar, and really some vanilla extract, and that's it. It's five ingredients, super easy. And what happens is all these are things that de-stress our body. Now, if you're paleo, if you're keto, you may not like ice cream, or you like a lot higher fat ice cream. So it's really dependent on what your diet style and preference is, but haagen -Dazs itself will actually decrease the amount of stress in cortisol because you're getting sugar and salt. You're getting the two things that a lot of times, when deficient, lead to elevated stress levels, elevated adrenaline, elevated cortisol, Cell. And these are things that keep us stressed out, keeps us jittery, and it makes it seem like, oh my God, I don't know where I am, or we have these racing thoughts. Have a scoop of ice cream before you go to bed and you'll notice you sleep better. You'll notice your breathing is better. Unless you're allergic to milk, then you'll notice a mucus buildup. You'll notice a lot of different things that are not something that we would typically think about. So sugar, salt, those two things, and then most of the other electrolytes, we're talking sodium, we're talking potassium, we're talking magnesium, and all these other ones that just help us calm down and really feel good. Gatorade is a great source of them, and I know a lot of people don't like sugar, so if you don't want Gatorade, don't opt for Gatorade. Get it somewhere else. But I know that when I wake up in the middle of the night, and I know I haven't had enough electrolytes during the day, that I'll wake up with that little bit of panic or that like urge to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. A little bit of Gatorade, just a tiny bit, will actually calm my, down my stress response and allow me to fall right back to sleep. Now, tip number four is gonna be a bit different, right? Because this is something that we're so tuned into right now, and actually you're doing it right now now, the thing that makes you stressed. You need an electronic detox. You need to get away from your cell phone. I'm gonna link the video to actually how to unaddict yourself from your cell phone, but it comes about with everything that we do because we're so often using electronics, we're using cell phones, we're using computers. Everything that we do now is electronic in nature. And so we're getting all these negative ions when what we really need, what the earth gives us is positive ions. So getting back to the ground, making sure that you're outside in nature. You know, I'm not really like in nature, nature, there's a forest back there, but by touching the ground with our bare skin alone, the grounding that comes from it is actually helping to decrease stress and really make it so we can feel and get more in touch with nature again, because a lot of times it's just us getting caught up in this technology that we use so often. Now, this last one is something that I don't think you're going to typically be familiar with. No, I'm just kidding, sex. 
Sex is very de-stressing. It helps to relax the body. It helps to put you in touch with someone else, the oxytocin transmission, and all these different chemicals in nature and the great feelings that we get from it. Allow your body after to calm down and to relax and for you to regenerate, you know, feel good again through the act of sex. So that is number five, have more sex for helping to make sure that your stress levels can come down, cortisol leaves, adrenaline leaves, and you can just really relax for the first time in a while. That's why a lot of people have great sleep after it. So now those are the five things that can help you naturally de-stress without having to use pharmaceuticals, without having to go get a massage or take a vacation, but things that you could do every single day, which are very easy to implement into any day. I wanna thank you for watching the video. If you have any other tips for de-stressing, please put them in the comments below. Give this video a like if it helped you in any way, and make sure to subscribe so I can make more videos like this in the future. It was a pleasure helping to de-stress you, and we'll talk soon.